Do you want to know exactly what I spent my money on running my six-figure blog? If you want to get a sneak peek behind my running blogging business, then keep watching. I'm going to let you in in all the products I use and what I would do if I started a brand new blog right now as a beginner. And if you're new here, hi there, my name is Katie and I'm a Swiss blogger and Pinterest marketing teacher here on YouTube. I've been blogging for over 10 years and turned my blog into a business, earning a full-time income blogging. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't need a ton of stuff to get started. You can gradually build up um, your blog to be a full-time thing. I'm just going to run through everything pretty quickly so I don't bore you, but I'm always going to say exactly what I use, if I recommend it for a beginner or if you can use it at a later stage. Plus, I'll link to the exact product in the description below. So, Without further ado, let's jump into the things I spend money on in my six-figure blogging business. Okay, so let's start off with my running business expenses and especially what I would buy as a beginner. So first off, what you need to start a blog right is hosting. I've got a full video on how to start a blog and set up um, your hosting here, but that's just the basics of getting your blog off the ground. Please don't start a free blog. I go into all of the details there. So get your hosting and personally, I recommend Bluehost. It's really easy to set up. And if you use my link, it's only $2.95 a month to get started. All right, the second thing you need as a beginner is a theme. And the theme is basically just the design of your blog. It's how your blog looks and how it functions. Um, and there are tons of different themes out there. You can get really creative with it. Um, it's one of my favorites part of designing a blog, um, but you can also keep it really simple. And if you like, you can start with a free theme. I prefer a paid theme. I love, for example, um, the blue chick themes if you're looking for feminine designs or you can scroll theme forest for tons more. Now, I would recommend not spending too much um, time on your theme in the beginning because you can always change it later. Also, a lot of times themes come with a ton of features that you just don't need as a beginner. So just keep it simple to start. And the last thing you need as a beginner is an email marketing provider. This is how you're going to capture people's email addresses so that you can follow up with them and build a relationship. Um, so this is how you are going to grow blog followers. Like for me, I sell products and services through my email list. And for me, that's converting really well. Now there are tons of great email service providers out there I personally use ConvertKit, which you can start for free and it has literally all the features you need, even when your list gets bigger. So these are the three things I would recommend as a beginner. Those are the only things you need to spend money on, in my opinion, when you start. Now, there are other things that you might want to spend money on eventually, and I'm going to go through those really quickly as well. Um, these are tools I personally use, but I have a small business too. So these are really the tools and services I use every single day. Okay, so since we're on the topic of growing an email list, I use a tool called Try Interact to create online quizzes. So if you have a quiz that's about, let's say, what kind of coffee drinker um, are you or what's your blogging style, you can use those types of quizzes to grow your email list very quickly. In order for people to see the results, they need to give you their email address first and that's how you grow an email list. Next, let's talk about content management and storage. So if you're a blogger, even if you have a YouTube channel, you're going to have a lot of content, a lot of images, videos, and all of that. And it can be really helpful to have a place where you can store all of this content. So it's organized and you can access it easily. And my two favorite places are Google Drive and Dropbox. They're both really great and have different features. So I use Google, to, Google Drive to create all my written content. So like blog posts, video scripts, all of that. And then I use Dropbox to store images, videos, because it's more secure. And I pay for both there are premium versions for that as well. Now, if you're going to create visuals for your blog or social media, you might want to look into some design tools. Um, my two favorite are Canva and the Adobe Creative Cloud. I use Canva to create all my Pinterest images and then I use um, the Creative Cloud, uh, which is a bit more expensive, but it's really great for photo editing, especially if you take your own photography. Um, that's really great. So I use um, Adobe Lightroom, which 
which is included in the cloud to edit all my photos. Okay, next. <laughs> the tool I use to sell my courses is Teachable. I'm currently selling my WordPress course and my pin templates, and it's a great all-in-one platform where I don't have to worry about anything. They're doing everything from managing the whole checkout process to deducting taxes and all of the complicated stuff. So I'm super happy with them and they um, help me out a lot. So I pay for Teachable as well. Then next I use a tool called Zapier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly to integrate different tools so they can talk to each other. So for example, I have my email list in ConvertKit and my course is in Teachable and I use Zapier to automatically add people who buy my course to my email list. They can receive a welcome email and stuff like that. This is super helpful because it's a lot to work to do this manually and you only need to set this up once in Zapier and then you can forget about it so that's really helpful. Okay next we've got SEO tools. I do a lot of SEO and I just find different tools helpful for different things and again some of these tools are more expensive and I only recommend you get them if you're already making if you're already making some money from your blog. You don't need to spend money on this if you're just starting out as a blogger. All right so the first SEO tool I use is Ahrefs, which is a great tool for coming up with content ideas for Google. Uh, the second one is vidIQ, which is really great um, for YouTube SEO. I use it all the time, it's really amazing. And the third one is the Pin Inspector, which is a great tool for doing Pinterest SEO. All right, the next tool I want to talk about is Tailwind. This is a tool that I use for social media, specifically Pinterest and Instagram. Tailwind allows you to automate your pins and posts so you don't have to do it manually every single time. I love this tool because it's really helped me grow my traffic and my following on both Pinterest and Instagram. And it's just, it takes all the manual work out of um, scheduling um, and putting content out there. Okay, so we're, we're almost done, I promise. So lately as my blogging business grows, I'm starting to outsource my content creation. So paying writers to actually create content for my blog and social media, as well as using AI to write content. Um, so the next tool I want to talk about is Jasper, and Jasper is an AI content writing tool that I use to help me create content faster. Basically, you give it a topic and it will do the research and come up with ideas for you, which is really helpful if you're struggling with what to write about. I also use a service called FreeUp, which is a great place to find virtual um, assistants and writers. Both of these tools have been really helpful in freeing up my time so I can focus on other things, working with clients or creating new products or spending more time with my family and things like that. And finally, we've uh, got the management of my business expenses like salaries, taxes, insurance, ba banking costs and stuff like that. So for this, I use a tool called FreshBooks. This is really helpful to manage all my business expenses and issue invoices I need to do. Um, FreshBooks is super helpful because it keeps track of everything in one place and I can easily see what I need to pay every month. Uh, they also got a completely free trial, which is great. And again, everything is linked down in the, in the description box if you want to check it out. So those are all the tools that I use to run my blogging business. Again, you don't need all of these tools when you first start out. Just start with the basics like hosting, a theme and an email list. And then as you grow, you can start to add in more tools to help automate things and make your life a little bit easier. Uh, you can also find the summary of all the tools mentioned uh, here on my blog. You can find more information there on the unique products. So yeah. So I hope you found this interesting and you've enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now that's it from me for today and I will talk to you next week. Cheers.